it says in the Word Guide and throughout the entire textbook, both both volumes really, that pay attention to words. And when people use words, I might have an idea of what that word means, but I don't speak about that idea except that somebody asked me what my idea of what the word should mean, like I did with the word American, African, and Asian. That's an idea that I have about what it means. The other people, you know, by the millions, have different ideas about all three of those words and what they should mean and what they do mean and historically what they have meant and what they mean now and what they should mean in the future. But I laid that out earlier this earlier in this program, what I thought about the use of those terms. Now, this on the, on the table now is this word feminist. So the code says the logical procedure when anybody uses any word, ask the person who is using the word what the word means. Yes. Always ask the person who is using the word because different people have different ideas about what one word will mean. And this causes a lot of conflict and misunderstanding when everybody is not on the same page about what a word means, because different people have different ideas about what, about what a word means. You ask person A what the word feminist means, marching in the same crowd, you might say, and that person will tell you, well, it means this, 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 and this. And then you ask the person standing next to them, what does being a feminist mean? And that person says something completely different. But they're marching in the same crowd. So somewhere along the line, there's going to be a breakdown in communications. I mean, so different people, even marching in the same parade, you might say, might have different ideas about what the march is about. Okay, so you have to ask each individual, why are you here? What do you mean when you say you're a feminist? What do you mean? And what do you think the word feminist should mean? And not only what does it mean to you, what should it mean to me? Since you're marching, trying to get my attention, I guess, are you? Tra- first of all, I'll ask the question, are you trying to get my attention? Okay? Because they may not be trying to get my attention. They might be trying to get the attention of someone other than me. So that has to be clarified. If the person says, I'm a feminist, but I'm not trying to get your attention. I'm trying to get that attention of that person down the street, you know, that, that you walk past. And then I say, oh, oh, none of this is directed to me. Then I have another question. Well, is any of this is directed to me? Does this include me? I mean, your feminist movement, how does that affect me? Is it supposed to affect me? And if so, how? See, that's, that way you do what? You get clarity. Clarity. And you get focus. Mm-hmm. And you, last but not least, eliminate what? Confusion. Confusion. 